Vamos a ver. Hold on there. Excuse for the trying to get this thing correctly. See, the unk to me is the important thing. The unk, unk of life. When we're going to get to the morning measure, let's hold on for a while. Hold on for a second. Well, anyway, how y'all doing? Well, I'm looking for this thing here. Wait a minute. I don't even like the way that looks. I don't, I, don't, I don't like the way this looks here. So, just bear with me. This is the morning message. All right, hold on, bear with me. All right, that's good enough right there. That's perfect, matter of fact. Yeah, so just bear with me. There we go, there we go, there we go. Right. Whoa, whoa. Hold on for a second now. Just bear with me, y'all, for a few seconds. The morning message is uh, it's about to start. You know, I gotta just adjust certain things. Hidden colors. Cause see, they do a lot of things to these computers, and what they do is they don't really tell you. They start switching all things, switching things up. They do that literally. I'm not fool you, they do that. But they switch things up. Okay. I like to have my theme song on this one. Bear with me. All right, hold on. Hold on. now got to get your water in you know why I told you about that water and your um, apple cider with a little with a honey in it but um keeps the mouth relaxed okay oh come on okay Messages, brothers and sisters, gods and goddesses, kings and queens. But before we get into the morning message, let's pay all due respect to the Creator. The sun rises. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. I'm on. So, I want to ask you this question here. Yesterday, a lot of you celebrated Father's Day, which I didn't celebrate. Even though I showed you in a video, I didn't celebrate it. My daughters came over, some of my daughters came over, and remember I told you, don't force nobody into religion, politics, but we're going to stick to religion this morning. Don't force them. See, they understand that their father 
is into his faith. My spirituality. They understand that. We all have to walk that path. Either you choose not to, or however you want to deal with it. I know that there's a higher spiritual being. I am here. I am here. My children's here. We are descendants from the original blackness. We live in space, three rocks from the sun. Think about that. My deity will ascend when his flesh is done living on this earth. Listen here, I ain't gotta draw up a map plan for you to understand. I don't have to draw up my plan for you to get this in your head. You believe in what you believe in. Everybody believes in what they want to believe. Right? We do that. So, your holidays came up. But it really wasn't a holiday. It was just a day. All of a sudden, now we want to... Uh, out of 365 days, you and now we want to sit up there and go, oh, let's give a day to celebrate for fathers. Oh, let's give a day to celebrate for mothers. Hmm? That's what we want to do. So, this year is a little different. And maybe it depends on the people who's on my page because I didn't find too many people. Matter of fact, I could barely seen anything yesterday. On YouTube or Facebook, or somebody, a woman was sitting because she's single, and she's talking about, oh, I'm a father and a mother. Because you, you give women who do that. And all that's based on emotions. All of it's based on emotions. When you catch women doing that, I'm a father and a mother, that's because they hate a man. They, hate, they dislike a man or they hate a man. You know what I'm saying? So what they do... Is they'll sit up there and start talking about, I'm the mother and the father. All because this one individual have done something. You know what I'm saying? You ever, you ever catch that? That one individual didn't do what they want. And see all these holidays? Look at all these holidays and these, 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 these different these celebrations. Somehow it seems to dysfunction in some kind of way. Somehow it seems to corrupt us in some kind of way. Literally. Literally, I don't seem to understand that. It literally somehow dysfunctions us. It, it, it becomes some kind of um, ritual all, all year round. Or every year when that time comes up, nobody really discussing it. But then all of a sudden, Father's Day, it just brings evil intent into people's lives. Then Christmas comes. Then, oh, I can't stand Christmas. Oh, New Year's come. Oh, my New Year's revolution, I mean, resolution is to uh, stop smoking and stop, change my behavior. All these things. But you don't do it. You don't do it. A lot of you'll start just cause. Just cause to prove a point that you started. But then by the time two to three months Past, I'm giving you three months. You already failed. Because you're doing something that don't belong to you. You're using things that don't belong to you. Let's keep it honest with ourselves. Y'all don't want to be honest. You, 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 you want to continue on casting spells, if you will. Casting spells, and I'll break it down for you, because some of y'all... You know, you have some people just ignorant. From the melanin race as well as the Caucasian race or the race itself altogether. Everybody, whoever's watching this video, you just you just become ignorant. So I I know what words can do. Okay, I know 
using certain words, and if you don't understand its its meaning, its you know, comprehension, you sh you could s you just um take the word for what it is instead of just okay. I say cast a spell, right? Let's see, if we let's go find cast a spell. You think we're gonna find cast a spell? <laughs> Let me see something. Hold on. All right now. Now I had to use the word actually words, which what I stated was cast a spell, right? Now, what most people are gonna think when I said that is is them is them in the verb throw something forceful specified direction. Right? Throw, toss, fling, pitch, hurl, lob, chuck. Cause light of shadow to appear on the surface. The moon casts a pale light over the cottage. Emit, give off, send out, radiate more. Noun, one, an object made by shaping Martin metal or similar materials in the mold. Bronze cast of sculpture. An act throwing something forceful he grabbed a spear for the third cast. Cast. Throw. Seminent. Throw to toss, fling, pitch. I already read that already, right? Traditional and more definition. Change your life with the real spell that works like magic. For free by real spell casters. Now that's what most of you would think. That's what most of you would think. Cast a spell. But it's more than what it is. Cast a spell. Throw, toss, fling, pitch, hurl. Lob, chuck. <laughs> you see, the reason why I'm changing my whole concept of my morning message and a lot of my, my posts, what I'm going to do for now on is teach you words can change the way you think. It's has more than one meaning. So if you only have one definition, you're going to hold on to that. You understand? Cast a spell by horoscope. Get free from definition games just for fun. That's something else. However, wish you could cast a spell. This is fun, interactive games. Okay, that's about something else. All right, but... To understand the word, then okay, now we got witches, spell book, how to cast a spell. You understand? That's what most people would think. It depends on where you at, you use what I just said. Oh, yeah, I cast a spell. Right? Now, so many of you do not understand. These holidays do not belong to you. I guess some of you, you, you enjoy it, you love it. You mean you, you have a good time? And, and, and let's be real. It depends on the family structure or how you build your family structure. I put it to you that way. Because if you're a grown man with children and you start participating in these holidays, then your children are going to only, they only, your children are the mirror of who you are. You celebrate every holiday that pops up, they're going to do it. And they're going to remind you, um, Christmas coming up, are we? <laughs> you understand? Until they start becoming a certain age, then some of them start to realize it's all bull crap. Literally. And some of y'all so indulged because you, because that family, that really love it. Oh, I love Christmas. When I was coming up, I just want to share that with my kids. So I never had a problem with Christmas and stuff like that. Now, remember I told you a long time ago, if and only if those who've been watching my videos on Facebook and YouTube, only who's been watching, you'll know. 
I have the background of Christianity, the background of Jehovah's Witness. Okay? I don't like Jehovah's Witnesses. I don't not Jehovah's the people itself, the whole organization. When you begin to do your studies and how um Um, how Charles Dash, Charles Dash was one of the, he was one of the founders, and he drove us with us from, from Europe. They, they're not here from America, you don't, I mean, now they'll sit up there, the members now will sit up there and tell you, oh, um, those back in the days, we could be for, forgiven for um, the things they did, they didn't know no better back in the days, so we should just forgive them. I'm going to forgive I've been forgiven. That's why I ain't socializing myself with you. And plus, if anybody with common sense knows that the same Bible we all read, and I'm going to use it, then I'm going to skip off with about still this morning message. It's going to have a couple of parts. Um, how are you going to ask another group of people? you so religious. you so religious. And you gonna ask another group, a group of people of um, how do you treat the blacks? How do how do you treat um, these black people here? You turn around and ask a Klansman. Do your research, man. Y'all don't do do your research about Charles Dash. I think the Jehovah's Witness was eighteen, because they've been around for a while. I gotta go back into my memory bank. I believe the Jehovah's Witness was around. 1800s. I don't think it's 1901. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me 1901. It's, it's between 1800s and 1901. One of the two. But I know they've been around for a hundred, couple hundred years. But they started in Europe. And they tried to basically state that when Noah, you know, the story of Noah and his son was basically blaspheming him when he was naked because he got drunk. No, Noah got drunk. After the um the salvage of um of forty days, forty nights on the sea, and which what trips me out unless they already had it on the boat, is he had enough grapes to turn into wine and got drunk, pissy drunk, and one of his sons basically just went off. And then all of a sudden that son was supposed to be um cursed. And somehow they talking about he was black or he turned black. I mean, you, I gotta go back into the story, but it's some it's similar to that. Just do your history, Charles Dash, the founder of Jehovah's Witness. The Jehovah's Witnesses. Let me tell you something, y'all. Yeah, if you don't know your history, you 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 just believe anything. But anyway, make a long story short. Every holiday that you 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 engage in. You know, you have fun. And I, listen, you have fun and you enjoy yourself. But you want to know what? At the end of the day, is who are you making rich? Because the holidays, if you go back in the ancient times, it wasn't about money. It wasn't about money. So go figure. Now you spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars between drinking. Okay, let's, let's be real. Drinking. Alcohol. Wine, champagne, right? Mm -hmm. You start getting your drugs. Let's be real. You can't tell me because I've been there. I spent thousands of dollars over the over the years. You know what I'm saying? When I used to indulge into it, you know. But when I was a Jehovah's Witness, I must let you understand. We never do. We never celebrate. Never. We never celebrate. None of the um. Holidays. It's just that on the outside, my friends and things, they celebrate it. You know what I mean? I got people gifts and things like that. But at the end of the day, drinking, smoking, all that madness I used to do years ago. Years ago. And some of y'all still indulging today. But this is part one on holidays. In my opinion, I am the messenger. I'm Chocolate Amara. I thank anyone that sits there and watch my program. I wanted a ripple effect. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to sit up here and try to indulge y'all with big giant words. This is why I bring 
my 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 um my tablet. So I use the tablet to any word or any um syllable or noun we use, we go in here into the tablet, break that down and write and read it. So you can get a better definition on it. You see, because words can be used to betray you. It can betray you or it can give you the definition that you're looking for. You understand that? So the morning message part one, going into part two, is based on holidays. And we discussed this before, but it's it's good to always discuss it again. Peace. And so